Okay, last four missions of the distance. Let's see if we can do it for a third time without losing anyone. We've done it twice before. Let's see if we get lucky tonight. Kill 20 walkers, try not to get surrounded. Okay, uh, let's stay with the setup. Sasha for the leader for obvious reasons. Rick, yeah, let's use the hunting bow. And a princess with the decimator. I think that's a good mix. Um, on these ones where you have to kill a certain amount of, of zombies, you can just guarantee that you're going to be flooded with uh, walkers. Um, we've got a threat counter, the decimator, of course. The only real drawback with that thing is it's so noisy. Um, and using it means that that threat counter is going to build up quickly, but uh, it's okay. I think that we can form a firing line yeah, at the exit point, wait for the walkers to come to us, and we should be sitting pretty, maybe. Obviously we don't want to get too complacent, but we we, we should be able to, to do it. Um, one, two, yeah, I don't really want you hitting princess there let's get Rick's charge point back and let's just get out of here nice and quick there we go move the little cordy thing out of the way of the tool bag just in case I need to use a grenade or something later on because that does happen of course all right and look at that double rewards are on so we get two reinforcement tokens six blue badges that's it's pretty nice um, one foot in front of the other, do not attract attention. We got some special enemies, including some explodey guys. So, mm, can't wait to use that sawtooth. But for the meantime, bayonet musket will do. And we've got what is a favorite configuration of mine, uh, Sasha and two Ricks. Okie dokie. Uh, definitely want to be sure. Okay, we've got some, we've got some piles of wriggling bodies. That means that after a turn or two, we are going to find ourselves inundated with walkers who are just going to burst forth from there. Okay, we've got a threat counter. That obviously is going to cause a lot of noise, but we're, um, yeah, we're going with speed. It said, try not to you know, bring attention to yourself or something, well, you know, that's, that's just not going to happen. We've got to, we, you know, we're going for speed over, over subtlety right here. So yeah, great. We've got our charge points. I think that we can handle it even if, yeah. So we've got five turns. Obviously, one of these characters is a shooter. They're not great at taking out masses of enemies. But I think with judicious use of our charge attacks, you know, we can keep these guys at bay while Rick Mark II there opens the door. We're just taking down the front runners here. They're getting closer. They are gaining on us. They shouldn't be able to gain too quickly. One, two. Okay, so obviously they can move two squares. That means this guy is in range. But it also means that nobody else is. Oof. Look at that. That was a that was a dramatic escape, I would say. Let's just take out one more, just as a way of saying, see ya. And let's get out of here. I've got to remember that I've got the support. I've only got one support at the moment. That is Dog, but he slows down the walkers. I've really got to remember that I've got him. I'm still not used to using the, uh, the support system. Take down the tough walkers. <sighs> okay, I mean, this is, this is where it gets tough to know who to use. What I could use is some of my lower level survivors that I don't mind wasting so that I get an idea 
of what to expect in the level. Um, but obviously my, my self-imposed challenge is that I do not lose anyone. So uh, I don't get anyone by, by making the game more difficult for myself that way. But, you know, that's that's the challenge that, that, that we've given ourselves. So, okay, that, that could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. We're going to have reinforcements you know walker reinforcements coming in soon you can tell by those wiggling masses of, of bodies there uh let's keep you in overwatch just in case okay we've got one more special walker the armored walker right there keep you yep Generally speaking, the AI is is a little bit ropey in this, but it will typically go for the biggest threat if you leave your guys to Overwatch. So you can... It is, it is sort of a fairly reliable system. Um, am I going to want to use Rick later on? Probably am. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that our guys want to have charge points going into the next mission so rick you jab somebody one two um no nah. we're gonna get out of here health at this point is more important than that last charge point that we would need although you know maybe i'll take uh, i'll take glenn next time you know, I wanted everyone to be fully charged going into this final mission. Um, but I'm not going to risk losing somebody. We can't move on until this place is cleared out. Silence everything that moves. Okay. We've got Humies. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mix this up a little bit. We're gonna take a, a you know, it's, it's sort of a risk. Um, we're gonna we're gonna throw Maggie into the mix. Have we got some better army? Yes, we do. I would love to have Rick's Alexandria pistol charged up. I've got to I've got to get that done. That thing looks like it could be useful in last stand missions, missions like this as well. Yumiko would be great, but she's she's only a bluey, so you know. Uh, I'm using these because we've got some long-ranged weapons. Uh, we can see that we've got humans to deal with. High-powered shooter weapons are great for dealing with humans. Um, okay. Okay. Now, this is a silence everything that moves type mission. So we know that there are going to be other... There aren't going to be any reinforcements. Um, so let's let's let these guys fight it out. Let's let the walkers munch those humans um, and not spend too much energy. Okay, 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 okay. Right. You're a risk. Good. You're not a risk anymore. We're just taking this slow. We know that we're not going to get reinforcements. There's not. Um, there's not a threat counter. There aren't any writhing piles of bodies that indicate that reinforcements are going to be coming in. So we can take our time. We can move slowly. I'm feeling good about this one. What do you reckon? So this is going to be another one where we complete the distance without losing anyone. I don't want to get cocky, but look, the exit's lit up. That usually happens when the mission objectives have been reached. The mission objectives were to wipe everything out. And we've done it. We've done it. Third time. Third time. 
completing the distance on hard without losing anybody. Last four missions only took 10 minutes as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just still exciting. It's just, it's, it still feels like a fantastic achievement. Still really, really happy with that. At some point, I'm going to have to move up to nightmare difficulty. Not while I've still got to earn points for the uh, seasonal event, but, uh, but soon. Soon we will move up to the harder difficulty setting. But in the meantime, let's just revel in victory. We did it again, third time, completing the distance on hard without losing anybody, without even having to use any scouts. I'm happy with that. Hope you've had a great evening. Thanks for watching. We did it, guys. Ha, ha, ha.